Hi. In my last video, I had explained the role the neck plays in ascertaining the position of the legs and the feet when we are upside down. And this rule holds for most in any feat of gymnastics, acrobatics, whether you're doing a headstand or a handstand. Today I'll demonstrate to you a few basic exercises on the parallel bars and first of all uh, I'd like you to have a look at parallel bar over here. I just went to the fabricator and got this frame done and we dotted it with the concrete and it's been here for the for last donkey's years and uh, every now and then I come over at least today I have come and uh, able to do some exercise on it so the basic exercise on a parallel bar is to basically mount the bars so I'll tell you how to mount the bar you come straight in front of the bar and then you push yourself up so you mount the bar and dismounting the bar is not just coming down however you'll have to do a few exercises now the basic size that you would be able to do in the beginning would be This is one of the ways to dismount the bar. There are a few others I'd like to show you. So you mount the bar and then you swing. The single leg dismount. Oscar, right? That was a bad dismount. I'll do a shoulder stand on the bar and demonstrate how to dismount. Well, one is at the shoulder stand. Now the, the position of my leg is such that my leg is straight and then simply roll down. I'll show you a forward dismount where I'll just flop over and probably land on my feet. Oh, well, that's a front dismount. So I hope this will encourage a lot of young people to get a parallel bar made in the backyard and carry out the basic exercises and I can assure you, you'll always enjoy exercising on a parallel bar. See you until my next video.